Garden, you've had great success over the years in the Bar 1 race in Glenmore with Don Cossack and Delta Work. Um, you have Envoy Allen possibly this year and could we maybe see Andy the Frayne line up? Yeah, both of them obviously the entry is close today so both of them will be entering the race but it's been a lucky race for us and um, it fits in nicely from down Royal back to Fairy House, you know. Um, you know, it, it's a good race. I, I, I like to, I like to start, you know, a few of them good horses for the first grade of race in it. So it's looking like we'll we'll we'll, we'll probably run both Envoy Allen and Andy Dufresne in the race. So yeah, we're looking forward to it. Good. Um, you won the 2019 running of the Bar One Racing Royal Bond with the Chivley Park owned Envoy Allen. Is there a chance we could see? The same connections there again with Bally Adam. I'd imagine, yeah, definitely. It looks looks the obvious race for him again. Um, I was impressed with him down right. He jumped well. You know, he got a bit close to, to, to the last, but he's quick away from the back of it. But um, you know, it, it, it's it's a great it's a great it's a great meeting. Fairy House, um, the money uh, Bar One and uh, Barney O'Hare put in, put into it, it, it is great, and it's great to see them supporting us. You know, in these tough times. Apples Jade has been in the Bar 1 race in Hatton's Grace for the last five years, yeah. she won't be there this year. No. Have you an intended runner for the race? We, we could have Fury Road and uh, he's probably our main one at the moment. We'll have a few entries but um, you know, I don't think we're going to be as strong in that race as we have been in recent years. Obviously we've been very lucky to have Apples Jade but um, I'm sure we'll have something running in it but at the moment just not confirmed to be honest. And the Bar 1 race in Portstown Chase over the Irish Grand National course yeah. the distance um, worth 125,000 euros. Have you one or two earmarked for this one? I'd say probably have eight or ten runners in it to be honest. Um, it fits in great this year with the Tritown. It's a, it's a month from the Tritown to, to Fairy House. So all them horses that are kind of running in the Tritown, you know, they fit the profile for that type of race. Uh, they all, they'll all get in off the handicap mark. So um, I'd say that 10 or 15 runners in it and probably end up with eight or ten runners all being well. And the juvenile hurdle at that weekend, you have a nice bunch of uh, juvenile hurdlers yeah. this year. Yeah. Have you any plans for any of those? I imagine Santa here, the horse that won in Ballon Road, will probably go there. And Quintalox, the horse that um, the horse that won in uh, in Down Royal, they're probably the main ones I'd imagine. But uh, hopefully we'll be strong in most races. You've unleashed some superstars in the bumper over the years, most notably Envy Allen. Have you anything in mind for the, the bumper this year's various? A few, races? hopefully, you know, a few going to work on grass over the next couple of weeks, but it's probably a little bit early to say what we're definitely going to run the bumper, but we like to start a nice one off, so we'll definitely be looking forward to it.